Hey everyone, as you may know, DaVinci Resolve is a powerhouse of a video editing software packed with tons of tools to help you create an amazing content. Plus, they are always running out of dates with improved or brand new features. However, you might find yourself just sticking to a handful of options that work best for you. Let's be honest, there are so many features right at your fingertips. That brings us to today's video. I'll be diving into a few recent updates that have completely transformed my workflow and who knows, it might just do the same for you. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in DaVinci Resolve. The first update that I'm going to be talking about is the automatic relink feature. So prior to this update, we do have the relink feature. So what this does is when DaVinci Resolve doesn't recognize the source of the file that is being used, you can relink those files to the original files. Maybe you change the original file folder to which you have to relink it to DaVinci. Now you could do this automatically, but this is in a specific way, all right? So for example, if you have a folder that you are going to be working with in DaVinci Resolve, and perhaps in the middle of your work, you decided you want to add more files or perhaps you want to add a picture or you don't have enough B-roll in your workflow and you want to add another B-roll, whatever file you want to add. Actually, that happens to me a lot when I'm working and I just don't have the file that I need and I have to go bring more files or add more stuff to my workflow. Okay, so this is where automatic relink comes in, in my workflow. Let's See how that works okay so but before we head to our files we're gonna first head to the media page and you have to right click on the bin to enable the automatically resync media files okay okay so once you have this enabled and the file that you add to your folder that was exported to your bin is going to automatically be added to your bin let's head to our files in my case the explorer Okay, so let's put in a file from a random folder to the folder that I'm using on this project. Okay, so let's add stacking logs. Okay, this is a sound effect. If I head back to DaVinci right now, stacking log is automatically added to your folder. So that's simple, but trust me, that saves you a lot of time, especially if you have your folders already organized prior to your project. So the next one is switch mode. Everybody's talking about the switch node, okay? Rightfully so, because the switch node is a very powerful node. If you know what to do with it, it's gonna be a lot beneficial. But let's go and see example of how we could use it. All right, let's head to Fusion, of course. Fusion, that's where everything begins. The big scary place, they say, huh? All right, so again, we're gonna hit Shift, Space Bar, and we are going to look for switch node, all right? So boom, we're going to add a switch node. I'm going to take this out of the background here and I'm just going to add this as a foreground, okay? It doesn't actually matter, but that's just how I wanted to use it here. Let's use a random image, okay? So I have several images here that I could use. It doesn't have to be image, but I'm going to use an image for example here. By the way, the switch node is similar to the dissolve node, all right? And I've made a video on the dissolve node. Well, it wasn't specific to dissolve node, but I feel like it's more powerful, the switch node. I named five most underrated nodes, and the number one node that I mentioned was dissolve node. And I feel like the switch node is a combination of dissolve node and the multi-merge node, to be specific. So what this does, like I said before, it does the same thing that the dissolve node does. However, it's more powerful, like I've mentioned before, which is why you've seen a lot of videos on the switch node. All right, so let's look at example. So here we have five images. It's called switch. So that's basically what it does, switching from one image to the next. All right, it could be a video clip or image. Doesn't really matter. It just depends on what you want to do with it. All right, so if I connect one image here to the switch node, we have one image. So you're going to see that one image. I could connect another image as well. So let's connect the next second one to it, all right? We connect the second image to the switch node. So at first, it has two outputs where you could actually link your images to. However, there are more things you could do with it. This is one reason why it's more powerful than the dissolve node. Okay, so 
what the Dissolve does is it takes one image as a background and the next image as a foreground. And you could kind of blend in between the two, switch between one and two, and it has almost like a transitional effect between one image and the next image. However, this one is like a cut switch. So you have the first one input to zero, the second one input one. So you could go back and forth. And of course you could animate it as usual. All right. However, we could add additional inputs. We could just go to configuration and we can increase this to nine. Now you have nine inputs. All right. So you could add a bunch of images now to it. Okay. So let's just add a few more here. I don't know if I'm repeating any <laughs> images right here, but it doesn't matter. So, so you could increase this to nine. However, you could also click on that number and you could increase it to 64. Okay. You could probably tweak this to make even more uh, numbers. However, you don't want to overload your computer because it's going to crash. I wonder how much you need to add anyway. So let's just head back to like, I don't know, six, five, seven. All right. Again, as usual, you could always animate these however you want to. So now if you go to controls, it's as easy as other animations as well. Okay, so you could animate from here, you could go over here and you could switch this. Okay, so unlike the dissolve node, this one does not blend in from one image to the next, it just have that spread cut from one image to the next one. Okay, so even though I gave those gap, it's not going to blend in, it's just going to wait to it hit the end of the animation and it just switch okay yeah so that's the switch node all right go check out the five underrated nodes i mentioned dissolve node as one of the most underrated node and here we are davinci dissolve decided to improve on that node and create switch node let's head to the next one the next one is not a node rather it's a composition Again, I've talked about the compound clip composition and talking about the fusion clip composition. All right. And I spoke about the difference between the two. And now we have another composition. Now I'm not sure when this actually came around, but this is fairly recent. It could be the 19 or 19.1 or maybe 18.5. I'm not quite sure when this one came in, but I recently found out about this one. This is called the reference composition. And this one might take the cake if you ask me. Okay. All right. With this one, I'm going to go back to my old projects. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to this clip right here and I'm going to right click on this clip and I'm going to head to create reference composition. And of course you want to create a separate bin for this. So you could easily find that folder easily when you do this. You're going to see a symbol here, just this little symbol that's going to tell you that this is the reference clip. Okay. And with this one, you could either right click here to go to fusion composition, or you could actually go to that bin and click on it straight to the fusion. Okay. So before I begin demonstrating, let me just quickly tell you what it does. What it does is you could reference this to any clip, meaning any clip that you link to this reference clip is going to take every feature that it has. All right. So it's going to adapt any feature that it has. That's basically what it does. And it's actually in the name. The name tells you a lot with these nodes, all right? I'm just going to do a random edit here. All right. So let's go with a uh, text node. Okay. Text node. So text node, I'm going to put here reference. By the way, if I spell it wrong, do not crucify me. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not concerned with the spelling here. All right popping where is popping poppins all oh, right okay so let's go to shading Ooh, let's add uh outline red i don't know if i should use red for the outline shadow red now nah, let's change that red and let's do one more thing here okay so let's do let's say let's maybe like put like a oh no what am i doing here all right Boom. All right. So you know what I'm trying to do here? Okay. Let's create a soft edge. Reduce this. All right. So let's say this is what I'm trying to do. It's as simple as that. All right. So let's head back to edit. So now this is a reference clip. All right. So what I could do here now is uh, let's take this out from here. 
let's take this out from you. So this is a reference clip. And if you go to the next clip, this is this is this clip and this is this clip. So let's let's head back to the fusion page. So prior to this, what I do here is I usually copy all this composition and I go to the next clip and I go to fusion and I paste it. So that do take quite a process, all right? And imagine having a lot of clips and you have to copy from each clip to each clip to each clip. It's it's gonna take a little time. Not that much time because it's just copy and paste, but it's still some time. All right, so we reference composition. It solved that problem for you. So it's like these updates were speaking to me directly. All right, so we go to the edit page and we go to the next clip. I'm gonna right click this and we're gonna select link to reference composition. Boom. And everything you did there automatically is in your next clip. That's going to save you a lot of time, especially the way I edit. I do a lot of those, copy and paste, and no mass. Now, I do this easy. All I got to do is reference, get a clip, and reference the clip. And we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you learned something from this video. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace.